What's up, guys? Whoever's on, um, could you please let me know if uh, the microphone is working, if, like, the audio on, let, let's say, five, how, how good is it? All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> so what are you guys up to? I thought I'd, uh, I'd do a quick live. I have, like, half an hour of uh, free time, so... If ever you guys have questions or uh, things that you'd like to talk about, well, feel free. Now's the time. I don't know if you guys uh, saw that um, uh, I released uh, a new video before. So if you didn't see it, you could go and check that out. Let me put the link up here. Page isn't available. Sorry about that. Okay, that's nothing new from YouTube. <laughs> All right, so water pressure. Oops. All right, guys, so I'm putting the link in the chat from uh, the new video that I just um, released. So if you guys want to watch it, go for it. License. Where can I get my license? Um, sorry, guys, I have to put on... My glasses, I can't see. <laughs> so, um, Josu, is that how you spell your name? Um, your license. First of all, you got to go to school. I don't know in what country you're in, but um, um, most of the time, that's the first step. You have to absolutely need to go to school. Cali, all right. So if you're in Cali, that's probably what you got to do. You, you have to go to plumbing class. Uh, and, uh, once you did, I think it's like a year and a half, the course lasts, um, they give you your, your cards and then you could go and, um, and work in construction. Other than that, there's not too many ways you could get in <laughs> exactly like Tony said, um, first school and then license or bribe someone to get one to you <laughs> been doing plumbing for six years. Yeah. So basically if you already have a background, um, it'll just be easier for you once you go to school. So, um, so that's it. You, you already have a, a, a foot in the boat. <laughs> How much does a plumber make? Um, once again, it all depends. Uh, if you're talking about, I'm in Canada. So if, uh, let's say we're talking about Canadian currency, here we make about $45 an hour if we work for a contractor. So if you work for yourself, obviously you'll be making a lot more. Double that probably. Um, but then again, you'll have, if you have employees, you got to pay them. And yeah, so it goes up pretty quick. Five years in the books, a plumbing company. Mark Taylor, thank you so much for the two. My name is Ahmed from Egypt. I want to study plumbing. Okay, let me just... This microphone a little bit. We make enough to be happy. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Here in Colorado, I just started as an apprentice. They took my journeyman test after I completed my hours. Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, pretty much it for uh, anybody that's trying to go into plumbing, actually. Yeah, so if there's anybody in whatever country you are, you are, if you want to share how it is to get to um, how to become uh, how to get your license, um, share it in the comment section because I, I mean, I don't know how every state or how every country goes about uh, doing it. So, How are you guys doing with the uh, the fires in California? I heard it's pretty bad. Jozu, I know uh, you're in California. How how is it? Yeah, there's one guy that uh, I was talking to in the comment section before, and he said that um, he's in between two fires. So like, there's two different cities. Uh, that have fires and uh, he's uh, basically in between. So he's waiting to get evacuated. So like he's in a pretty bad position right now, but at least, um, you know, he'll get out of it. 
the air quality is really bad. Jeez. I saw a video of it uh, at night and it looks devastating. <laughs> the skies are orange and uh, the air uh, does not look breathable. Yeah. So anyways, Jack, um, I'm in uh, Quebec. Are you from, uh, uh, are you in Canada too? Yeah, you're in a pretty bad spot, man. Just try to be careful as much as you can. And uh, if it starts getting close, try to go somewhere else. That's all we could say, right? Every time I use my basement laundry, I get sewer smell out of the floor drain nearby. Thoughts? Um, that could be actually a couple of things. Um, it all, it all, you know, it all depends how your plumbing layout was done. Um, you know, washing machines. Uh, push out a lot of water so if there's no vent on your floor drain something's bound to happen you'll get some p-trap siphoning um what else could it be that's pretty much the only thing i could think of um i'd have to see pictures of your setup to better understand or to you know uh, give you a better answer poor flow could be that how old did you thought did you think i was <laughs> Yeah, so what else could it be? Um, honestly, maybe a, 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 a Y that's inverted and that it's coming back up the, the drain. Like I said, I'd have to see pictures or I can't really tell just like that. So what are you guys up to? Like what kind of jobs are you on? Um you guys have apprentices with you? Are you journeymen? Uh, how long have you been plumbing? Not too many people in the chat room today. Only 37 people. Most likely it's siphoning itself. That's what I'm thinking. Like I said, uh, washing machines, they do push out a good quantity of water uh, as it's pumped. So I'm guessing it could be that. Yeah. What is your experience with Superpex, the type that you get from Home Depot? Any good? Um, never tried it. I'm guessing it's just the name that they gave it. Um, pretty sure it's just normal PEX, uh, PEX B. So, yeah, Tony, that's probably what it is. But normally, uh, even when I do lives at this time, there's still like maybe 70, 80 people. Now, today, there's only 34. Maybe it's the fires. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was 75. Are you joking? I'm half that. Yeah. Um, Pex does have that vulnerability of uh getting you know rats and mice and stuff like that um pierced because what they do is that they sharpen their teeth on the pipes they don't do it a lot of people say that it they've seen it done on copper too i've never seen it but uh yeah it's more likely to happen on pecs because they can actually bite through it and when they do bite through it well you get a leak there's nothing much you could do about that. The only thing you could do really is try to get rid of the rats. <laughs> Room is always hot and water in trap evats evaporates. Pour water and a little dish soap to slow evaporation. Yeah, that's a good trick. 
how much salary a plumber make in Quebec? Um, in Canadian currency, ab about $45 an hour um, before tax. Cupid, welcome. Did you just become a, a, a member or were you already a mem member? Can a sewer vent be used on a sewer drain in a basement? It could, but you're most likely going against code if you do do that. Cupid, no problem, man. You know, that's what the channel is all about, helping people out, getting more, uh, making people more aware of how things need to be done. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Can I study plumbing? I've been in London two years, but I'm not perfect in English. Um, well, it all depends. If there's a school in, in England, uh, the best thing would be to go to your, you know, a local school that's near your, uh, near where you live and a language that you can actually speak. That'll help. <laughs> I love your videos. Dug my own well, installed a septic tank, geothermal system, all thanks to you. Awesome, man. Those systems are pretty nice. The only thing is that they take a long time to be profitable. <laughs> First time here with a live chat with you. You're doing a great job, by the way. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Taco Dad, love the video this morning. Thanks. Yeah, that video uh, took quite a long time to make. I know it's. I know it takes time uh, to release them. Uh, I only release like a video every two weeks and a half, three weeks, if I'm lucky. But I try to pack in as much information as I can so that, you know, You just have to watch one video on that subject and you get everything you need. I just became one. I didn't know it existed. Yeah. You can also become, there's different grades of members. If you become, um, uh, I think it's Lieutenant and the other one is Commander. If you become a Lieutenant, uh, you get to see all the videos that I post uh, before everybody else because I always keep a bank of videos so that it gives me time to work on my other ones. And you'll get to see them if you do become a member. Uh, Quebec, I'd say, always needs plumbers. So if that could, if that answers your question, then good. What projects do you have going on in the background, or are you fooling us with green screen? No, no, this is not a green screen. <laughs> That's not a green screen. There's always something going on in there. Um. What's your level as a plumber and where do you see yourself in the future? PMAG, uh, level as a plumber. I've been a journeyman plumber for, well, actually I stopped plumbing if you don't already know, but I, uh, I was a journeyman plumber for seven years and uh, in total I did plumbing for 11 years. Where do I see myself in the future? I just see myself continuing helping you guys out making videos. Why is the green bar on my name shrinking? Oh, it's shrinking because uh, what's fun about becoming a member is that you get to um, see, like I could click on the green bar and if you had a question, I could answer your uh, question before anybody else because that's a privilege you have. Purple Brave... Giraffe. Ben oui, je suis Québécois. <rire> T'es-tu Québécois, toi aussi? Dilman Ali, uh, why did you leave plumbing? Because I got hurt. Unfortunately, I got hurt. And the only other thing that I could do uh, that was, how can I say, that would bring me something and bring something to the rest of the world <laughs> would be to make YouTube videos, so, yeah. The announcement, you became a member, goes away after a while. Exactly, you see, it just left right now. So, if ever you type uh, a, a comment in, I'll be able to see it on top there, and uh, I'll be able to answer you before anybody else. Do you primarily primarily use opener or brass crimp fittings? Thanks for your videos. Actually, brass crimp, well, brass. They don't really make brass fittings that much anymore. They're mostly plastic. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for crimped, they're mostly brass, yes. 
But for uh, PEX A, which is opener expansion, uh, they're discontinuing pretty much all the plastic fittings that they used to make uh, just to make them cheaper. What do I prefer? Uh, obviously, I prefer PEX A um, because it's a lot easier to use. Any ideas for van storage? Um, never had a van, but basically what I've seen from um, um, contractors is that they like to keep all of their stuff on the sides and like, let's say uh, power, uh, what is it? Power 300 or, yeah, the power 300 in the middle with a uh, shop vac ladder, you know. Dillman Al uh, Alley, Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's un it's unfortunate. But look, uh, if you're able to go into plumbing, be in shape, and uh, and not get hurt, you'll be able to you know stay in the plumbing industry for a long, long time. If you get hurt, unfortunately, you you're like a wounded soldier in in war. You won't go far. So it's better to just stop and try to find something else. You know that's better suited for you. Yes, I look at your videos for months and I never knew. Surprise. <laughs> ouais, ça fait longtemps que je suis québécois. How did you get hurt and where is it hurt? I actually hurt my uh, shoulder and basically the whole backside of my back. And uh, because of that, I can't lift anything. I can't, you know... So, yeah, that pretty much is what it is. What happened to you and why are you unable to continue in the trades? Like I said, I got hurt. Um, it, it, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Um, I don't think I'll ever go back into plumbing again. Because even just doing uh, YouTube videos, it's constant pain. So permanent damage was done. Maybe you can teach at a school or college for extra cash or a plant C. That would be a good idea. Um, I mean, if YouTube, um, um, if YouTube keeps up with the way it's doing right now, uh, there won't be any need for me to search for a plant C or any of that. So we'll just hope for the best. You're plumbing right now? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Watching plumbing videos while plumbing. Gotta love plumbing. You're overheating it and have a bad pressure relief valve. This is a job for a professional. Your gas tank probably needs a new expansion tank. Okay. I hurt my sh shoulder too, but I'm going back. You see, it all depends on the severity of, of uh, you know, how you got hurt. If you got hurt like i did you cannot work unfortunately it's just that bad if i go back to work and lift a pipe let's say on my shoulder it's over for me you should maybe get a hot tub maybe help you out <laughs> that would be a good idea i got surgery like a week ago yeah yeah, that's probably what I'd need, but unfortunately, um, I went to doctors and all of that stuff, and they could never find anything. And they also say I'm too young. So, what were you doing that you got hurt doing? A safety video sounds like a good idea. Yeah, a safety video would actually be pretty good because I mean, you could be have all the knowledge and all, but if you don't have the safety aspect of it. You're basically nothing in this trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still making videos right now. So what will you do with this tool? Sell it. Uh, Pavic, what do you mean by sell it? I saw a cop carpenter have a beam fall on him. Scary. Yeah, um, there's always dangers in construction. So you always have to be on alert. No matter when. Take care and thank you for your videos. Not no problem, man. One got a big shit stock in the U bend. Would you suggest a wire coat hanger? I mean, if that's your 
um, only uh, your only method of getting it out, then go for it. But like, you 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 might scrap the bottom of the toilet. So I wouldn't suggest using that. The best thing would be to either use like a shop bag and try to pull it out, uh, push it down. Uh, a fish, a plunger, whatever you could get, but a coat hanger, yeah. Last case scenario. But you should have someone look at it. You never know unless someone tests it. Yeah, two inch copper tips and trick. Tips and tricks. Oh, uh, I do have a video on that if you want to watch it. Let me get you the link. David Bank, two inch copper tips and tricks. I just shared the um, link for, for that video. A hey, water, I'm taking lunch right now. I'm loving this. Awesome, man. Have a good lunch, buddy. As long as you know what you're doing so it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, I, I actually already tried that and it kind of did get stuck and I got a little bit scared. <laughs> but, you know, then you just like try to reroute it back out and it, if you're lucky, uh, you'll be able to get it done. A water heater can explode like a rocket if you mess around or override pressure relief valve. Lots of videos on YouTube. That's why I recommend professional plumber to look at it. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, if ever you decide to do your own plumbing work, you're also you also need to assume the fact that if something does happen, your insurances will not pay because you did not get the work done by a licensed plumber. Um, so always keep that in mind, guys. The videos that I make show how the job needs to be done properly so that you guys know what to look out for. Do I recommend that you guys do it on your own? Not necessarily. Um, and if you do, well, you have to assume at 100% that uh, if something does happen and you didn't do a good job, that insurances won't pay. That's my disclaimer to you guys. Ever watch David Goggins? Goggins? Never watched him. Your videos are really helpful. Keep going. Thanks, Dot. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Just going out. Is it worth working for a company that doesn't ask you to be licensed plumber? Do you think they take advantage of you pay-wise due to the lack of plumbing licenses? Thank you. Absolutely, Nick. I would not... Uh, I would not work for a company that doesn't ask for your licenses. Like you said, they're probably going to charge like as if you were a licensed plumber, but they'll put the rest in their pocket because they don't cost you the same. You don't cost them the same. Sorry. So yeah. Is sw swagging a pipe legal instead of using a coupling? That's a good question. I know HVAC, uh, the HVAC people use that tool a lot. So it's prob it probably is legal, but for um, like residential plumbing for potable water and stuff like that, I don't know if it's legal. It depends maybe where you're, where you are in the, in the world. Uh, maybe in the UK that works. I'd have to check honestly. All right, so guys, I'm going to keep the live up for another six minutes. Like I said, um, I have other things to do today, but um, I just wanted to give you guys the opportunity to ask some questions if you do have some. Um, so yeah, six minutes. Do you recommend water pump for tankless heater? Um, to be honest, I never really installed or gathered any information about tankless heaters. I know a lot of people on the channel are experts on that and install them all day long. Uh, yeah, Taco Dad. Uh, I know that Taco Dad um, 
does that. So maybe he could answer. But yeah, um, slowly, slowly, I'm gathering some information to make a, a video on that. So expect that to be out in the near future. Because I know a lot of people um, um, want that information. You're in Canada. Yes, I am. I'm in Canada. I'm in Quebec. Do you believe in COVID? I won't answer that. Yes, wear a mask. Honestly, that's to me, that goes into the whole politics uh, department. And um, I, I don't think it's a good idea to talk about it. But anyways. Nicholas, when sweating copper after you've put solder in the fitting, is it advised to clean any droplets of solder off the fitting with flux? Then wiping away any excess flux once it has been cooled with a rag. Um, Nicholas, the thing with wiping a copper joint uh, after soldering it is that it could move the joint. The joint that you just soldered could you know, move and crack and water could pass um, in that crack. So if you're going to wipe your joint, which you must do after soldering, I suggest waiting maybe 20 seconds or something, move on to another joint and then um, wipe it so that you don't disrupt the, the, the curing process of the solder that you just did. But to answer your question... Do you have to wipe any of the droplets of solder off? Um, the exterior ones, you don't have to do it. That's only aesthetics. I do it all the time, but it's it's only for aesthetics. There's no... Um, it doesn't uh, aid in the functional aspect of the, the joint. Can I glue PVC to CPVC? Um... I wonder why you'd want to do that, though. I'm guessing you could because it's pretty much the same. Well, no, it's not the same glue. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to check that. I didn't do too much uh, CPVC or CPVC. So why do the French sound so flamboyant? <laughs> that I don't know. Maybe it's the wine. <laughs> What's the best way to learn plumbing reading a plumbing code book or watching got to learn videos what's the next video and when is it coming up i'm working on like i like i always say I, i'm always working on like 10 videos at the same time just so that i ensure that there's videos for the future um some videos that i'm working on i could tell you right now um one that's like really interesting is called uh is pex really dangerous for your health or like, does it cause cancer or something like that? Because a lot of people, after I released my uh, PEX A video, said that PEX um, is dangerous, it causes cancer and stuff like that. So I decided to make a video just on that. And I actually have an interview uh, done that I did the other day, the other day with Dave Perkis, who is the vice president of NSF International. So... He was able to clear out a lot of the fog concerning that. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the videos. I have more plumbing mistakes videos. Uh, a video that's, that talks about threads. Uh, tapered threads versus straight threads. Um, drain, drain transitioning videos. Um, yeah. So, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff coming up. NSF need to watch that. Yep. The uh, interview lasts 22 minutes and I had 10 questions for him. 10 questions that most of them came from the community. So you guys. So if you had a question, uh, it's probably going to get answered in that, uh, in that video. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave uh, the live. Like I said, I have stuff to do. And uh, it was only for uh, if you guys had some questions and I saw that you guys had them. I hope I answered them. Um, so I'll see you guys uh, in 
the next live, which should be in a few weeks from now. Take care, guys. Ciao.